you remember the film that we made of some of the streets of Lewisham? Well, in an attempt to make a point, we have made a really short spin-off version. If you know Lewisham, you'll see the fire station on the right. Now we are passing the bingo hall, yeah. which has been changed into another church. And there's the bridge that we all know and love. You can see the library on the right. And the Ridgeway Roundabout as we turn into Molesworth Street. Just around the corner is a turning that leads to the sorting office on the left. And all those odd bollard things that the council thinks we need. The Riverdale Centre is just there on the right. And you can't help but notice all the buses. As we get to the end of the road, those buildings just keep looming up. To prove our point, we are going to go round towards Greenwich next. And rather than spend ages at this junction, we speeded up the film a bit. While we're waiting at these traffic lights, we suspect that you are wondering what the point of saying all this again is because there's nothing particularly remarkable about anything we've said so far. But in our opinion, that's all about to change. As we go around this roundabout and up towards Blackheath, you might be mistaken in thinking that all this looks a little too countrified to be part of a London suburb. And if you have not seen the footage that shows how we got there, you might even be more disorientated. There's a lot more sky to be seen and you get that sense of space and flatness. We are letting the speed of the film give the appearance that we are breaking the speed limit. But we can't afford a ticket. But when our camera specialist took the film, she made a bit of a mistake. She had the dash cam upside down. Can you believe it? It was easy enough to turn the picture the other way around. But before we did that, we took a look for a while. We wonder what our audience thinks of the film. Now that the sky is at the bottom of the video, while the road is on the top. Before we swiveled it round, we noticed just how worrying it all looks when it's upside down. You can tell we're not professionals. In the upside down version of the journey, you can imagine the sky as an endless deep sea. And the fact that gravity was the only thing keeping the viewer and the car attached to the earth became worryingly apparent. Do you get the real feeling of just how small and how vulnerable human beings are? We cannot help but imagine what would happen if the world stopped spinning. One thing is for sure. 
the advantages of being really free are truly relative. Imagine being absolutely free of gravity.